Hello everybody, this is Aarti Katpalya from Tickles and Tales and I'm here today to share another fun story for all of you. So today's story is about this little frog and his name is Tidlik. Can we say hello Tidlik? Well, Tidlik was a little frog but he was really harmless. One day he was feeling so thirsty and couldn't wait to drink water. So he found some water and he went close by to drink. Ah, this feels so good, said Tidlik. I can't stop. Well, Tidlik drank so much water that he became bigger and bigger. And now he became heavier and heavier. That's right. And now all the other creatures began to get worried. They said, oh, Tiddler, can you please leave some water for us to drink? Or we're going to get really thirsty. I can't help it. I can't stop drinking water. <gasps> While everybody was getting worried, that if he's going to drink up all the water and there's nothing left for them, what are they going to do? Suddenly, a bird called Kukuburu, he came and he said, you know what, I have an idea. I think if we are going to make Tidalik laugh, he's going to make all the water from his belly come out and then we all will have water. <gasps> That's an excellent idea, said all the creatures. Now we have to make sure that we make Mr. Tidlik laugh. So Kukubura said, let me first go because I am a bird who can laugh the best. He went closer to Tidlik. Ha ha he hoo, ha 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 he hoo, ha ha he hoo, ha 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 he hoo. Tidlik didn't have much, much of an expression. He was pretty much bored. Well, that didn't help much. So they all began to think who else can make Tidlek laugh. <gasps> they found a bird with a long neck. Yes, and also tall legs. That's right, the emu. The emu said, I'm going to make Tidlek laugh because I love to dance. So emu came about and she said, you know what, I'll tell you a secret. Once I dance, Tidlik will smile and once he smiles, he'll begin to laugh and once he laughs, the water will come out. Shh! Well, Emu started dancing gracefully and beautifully, but Tidlik did not enjoy it much. They all began to get worried and all the creatures were very thirsty now. But they had to support and applaud for their friend, the Emu, because she was trying so hard to make Tidalik laugh. While this didn't work well, they decided to call another animal. They said, oh, why don't we call the kangaroo? Maybe he'll have a special skill that will make this small little frog laugh. So the kangaroo came and he said, oh, don't worry. I am going to tell Tidlik a little joke. Actually, maybe a little funny story. So the kangaroo came. Hey Tidlik, I have a funny story for you. Would you like to hear? Once upon a time there lived a frog. Actually, just like you. And he was very thirsty. He began to drink water. And once he did, he became bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and he paused he said actually i forgot the story uh, uh, tidla um um actually you know what he grew so big that he burst <laughs> tidalik had no smile forget alone a laugh he didn't find it funny you know well, they were running out of ideas and they didn't know what to do. So all the creatures pulled the kangaroo out and they said, let's take you away before Tiddalik gets more angry. 
And now they began to think which other animal could make Tiddlick laugh. Then came an eel. That's right. The eel said, oh, don't worry. I'm an acrobat and I am a champion. I will jump all around and high up in the air and make sure that Tiddlick smiles. And then he will laugh and then he will pour all the water out. Shh. So then the little eel came and he began to jump on his tail and he put his head up high and he began to jump as he jumped high up in the air he was jumping and twisting and twirling and doing all kinds of things well Tiddalek just watched all the fun he didn't really smile but now you know what the eel was jumping high up in the air and suddenly there was a wind. Whoosh! That's right. While the heavy strong wind came by, the eel went hopping or rather flew on top of Tedelik. That's right. While he was on top of Tedelik, he now went slithering down. Oh! the way down to Tiddalik's body or his back actually and Tiddalik couldn't control it he began to laugh <laughs> stop it I'm so ticklish stop it stop it little eel <laughs> well you see when Tiddalik started to laugh his laugh couldn't stop now. He laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. But you know what? When he began to laugh, there was a waterfall out of his mouth. And all the creatures got scared now because first there was no water and now there were floods of water pouring from his mouth. Oh no! Now the creatures that could fly flew high up in the sky. The creatures who could swim swam in the water. But what are the other creatures going to do? Some creatures even climbed up a gum tree. But now there were many creatures still to be saved and didn't know what to do because the water was getting higher and higher and Tiddly couldn't stop the waterfall from his mouth. But now to their rescue came the pelican, the bird. That's right, the pelican bird found a boat and he began to row the boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Well, now life was definitely very scary, far away from a dream that to a happy one for sure. So now the pelican rode his boat and he swam everywhere to save everybody that he could. He actually managed to save everyone except Tiddalik. Well, you know why? Because Tiddalik was still really heavy and Tiddalik was still really big and he even wouldn't fit in the little boat. So while Tidlik was laughing away, <laughs> all the animals were safe now, thanks to the pelican. And now this Tidlik learned his lesson that he could drink water, but not gobble all the water of the whole earth because then it's going to be really bad for all his other friends.